when we build real web pages, we really can't depend on the visitors to open the developer tools and access the console in order to type their own JavaScript. That absolutely makes no sense. It's good to practice JavaScript on the browser console. That's why it's there in the first place. But we have to get the browser to actually run our JavaScript along the HTML that we have created automatically. So we can do this in two ways. Either we add the JavaScript into the HTML document itself or add it as a separate file and then connect that same file to that particular HTML document. Now some developers use both the techniques and some use their preferred cases. But in this video, we'll start adding some inline JavaScript. Now in this particular HTML document, we don't have one important element or I can say tag. Yeah, and the tag is called the head tag where the JavaScript mostly comes, but it depends where and when you want to display or run your JavaScript in the HTML document. For example, if you want to run the JavaScript before your HTML and CSS loads, then you will add it over here inside the head tag. And if you want to run your JavaScript after the HTML loads, then you're going to enter it after the body tag over here. Now I'm going to tell you the exact difference of writing your script in two different areas. For example, if you write your script here, then something else will happen. And if you write your script in head, then something else might happen. So let me just give you a fair idea of what I'm talking about. For example, I'm writing a script, all right? And this is a script tag for JavaScript. And over here, I'm declaring a variable known as date. And I want that date to display the new date, semicolon. And then I want to fetch body dot inner HTML is equals to, I want to display something like h1. Today is similar to what we did with the browser console. Today is plus sign date date plus that's it and a semicolon in the end. Now I just want you to save the page and run it and see what happens. There we go. So now it has displayed today is Sunday, 10 December, blah, blah, blah. So let me explain you what actually happened here. And I'll do that by inspecting the element. All right, so what actually happened is that the browser read the script in a way. So first of all, what happened was the script, all right, the browser first detected that there was a document. Okay, there was a document and then there was a body and inside that body, we access the inner HTML and then we displayed today is the date okay whatever date it was so if i go according to the flow from top to bottom it read everything from the top and then it executed the script in the end so in this scenario the script was executed in the end after the document read everything the body and the inner html but what if i simply cut this script and copy it inside my head tag now the results will be different and I'll tell you why. Save it and then run it. Nothing happened. And the reason was, if I go to inspect, it is going to show me there is an error. And let me find out what that error is. So I'm just gonna maximize this. All right, so uncaught type error cannot set property inner HTML of null at index HTML. What actually happened is that when the script executed, it executed in the beginning. So it didn't have actually the chance of reading the document, the body part and the inner HTML because we declared it in the beginning in the script tag. So did you get the point? It is actually going against the flow of the document. So what we mostly do is we execute the script in the end or after the body tag, because let's say we have to access some elements uh, from, the inner, uh, from the HTML document itself. So we have to make sure that we go through each of the elements in order to execute them. So in this scenario, it didn't happen. The script executed even before it could reach the body tag. 
So now you know why there is no information or the page here is totally blank. Like there is no information. And let's say if I move the same script tag, cut it and paste it off the body tag, save it, it's going to show me the date. There we go. So I hope now you get the idea of how JavaScript works if you write it down inside the HTML document. So don't be confused here. Practice makes everything perfect. So keep learning and of course, keep sharing.